Welcome back to the shooting channel. We've had a few lots, lots of ladies for lessons lately and a lot of ladies tend to like the Blaser F16 more than the Beretta and the Browning. The ordinary one, not the Intuitions, not the, um, the Beretta ladies gun or the Browning ladies gun, the ordinary F16. A lot of ladies do tend to like that specific gun. And they say that the whole balance of the gun is completely different. And I just wanted to go through and go through some slight differences of each gun. First, I'm gonna start with the Browning. A lot of people do tend to say a Browning is a little bit more of a, of a beast when it comes to the gun and the action. And if you look at the action, it's quite thick there. They're quite solidly built. And if you put a gun up, I'm talking about sporters here. If you put up a Browning up, it tends to be quite solid and quite heavy, but the balance is, is, is still quite balanced. And I don't know how blazers do this, but the balance is just slightly different. If you look at the action, it's quite a box action. Even if you look at the Beretta action, okay, it's still, it's slightly shallower, but it's still quite a box action. And if you put the Berettas up, it still handles a little bit more heavy box type gun. But then, and this is one lady specifically said to me, they picked the F-16 up and it's just something about it that it's the same, virtually the same weight as the Browning and Beretta, but they just have a slightly different weight dimension, where the, where the actual weight is within the gun. And I looked at this and I thought, is that actually, can you see why with all the actions? Now, if you look, they're slightly different, they're slightly curved there. They are narrower there than both of these two. So whether that makes any difference. And the weight just seems to be more here and here rather than bow heavy or stock heavy. And it was quite interesting. And they picked three guns up. Uh, I'd say these three guns are, virtually everyone knows them, Browning, Beretta, Blaser. But she tried them all, in, the, in her, all in her price range. And she actually landed up going for the F-16, not the ladies one. And she tried the Liberty Light, the Beretta Lady, but they just, the problem is with going to those is they are too lightweight. And then what happens is when you shoot slightly heavier cartridges, they kick you. Whereas the F-16, it's not lightweight. And even the Intuition one is not a lightweight gun. It's just slightly differently and slightly differently formed and made for the, the gun. They don't kick a lot. You can put 28 gram fiberwood shells through it and they don't kick. And this is why, has anyone thought has anyone had this in this situation in the past? Has, does anyone, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on if a lady's going out shooting a normal gun, not a lightweight gun, a lady's gun, a normal gun, and have you thought any difference about the weight difference between it? Have you tried an F-16 if you're a lady watching this? Be interesting to see what your thoughts are on this particular su subject. I mean, if you look at all of the, if you look at, if I take all the guns apart, probably the easiest way of doing it, and you look at all of the actions, you can see all of the actions and you can see they are quite different. The Blaza does have a fairly unique action and style. Even if you fill just the stocks, they're quite le the balance of them and the balance of these two and the balance of this one is quite different. It's, it's very, I can't really say it. I mean, I know my, my wife actually shot and I, um, obviously, because I'm a browning person through and through, and she actually shied a, a Blaster F-16, and she said, there's something, something about them that just allows it. It doesn't, when you're shooting 100 Sporting, it doesn't, um, 
it doesn't feel really heavy. You can literally shoot 100 clays or 150 clays and you can go on it. Whereas with the Browning and the Beretta, they tend to get tired as you get closer to 100, 150 targets. So it'd be quite interesting to see what people think of these three guns. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this particular topic. Um, and I'd love to hear what you think because a lot of ladies don't like going for ladies' guns because they're so light. Now, if you're looking at the ordinary off-the-shelf guns, which one would fit you? I hope you've enjoyed this programme. Don't forget, we've got the Browning Challenge coming up. We're at the Game Fair at the end of the month. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us to give you content like this and visit the Shooting Channel website. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this.